Yo, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you guys are new, smash that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because today we are going to be playing WWE SmackDown Here Comes the Pain Season Mode. I haven't played this game in years, so this should be very fun. If you guys are just excited as I am, hit that like button. Let's get 35 likes on the video. I know you guys can do it. Editing Gaming Cube here. After recording the video, it came to my attention that the game audio was pretty much non-existent. But what I would do is just run a loop of SmackDown Here Comes the Pain background music throughout the remainder of this video. Next time, I will make sure that the game sounds are up to par. Let's get back into the video. And without further ado, let's jump right into the season mode. We're going to do a brand new season. Creative stables can be used in season mode. Would you like to include the stables from a creative superstar? I don't have any creative superstars, so that would be a no. Default stables will be used. You can still have stables after your season begins. Are you sure you want to continue? you damn right I do. Let's go. Select superstars for season. Everything seems to be pretty here, so we're just going to leave that. Edit program rosters. Uh, I kind of want to actually edit these around, but we're not going to. We're just going to go with the normal face heel side. We're going to stick with that. All right, now who do we rock with for season mode? I kind of have an idea of who I want to go with, and the uh, choice may surprise some of you guys because some people would go with Triple H, they would go with uh, Stone Cold, The Rock, Undertaker, Batista even, John Cena's here, we got Brock Lesnar, but I'm gonna go with one of my favorite WWE superstars of all time, also WCW. We're gonna go with a big sexy Kevin Nash, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Are you sure? I am damn sure, let's go. Boy, I'm so excited for this. If you guys are excited as well, smash that like button. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell. There is one question people always ask me. Why do you wrestle? I ask myself the same question every morning, feeling the pain in my ACLs, but I do it for so many reasons. The rush of adrenaline, the roar of the crowd, the glory of the championship. But I know there is more to it. Maybe I'm doing this to find an answer. Maybe when I get to the top of this squared circle, I'll find out stuff. Wait, hold up. Maybe I won't find out anything, but I guess I'll step into that ring again tonight because I know that the view from there is unbelievable. Damn, that is old school. I remember doing that. I remember playing this season mode back when I was a kid. I haven't played this game, like I said, in years, but Boy, that brought back some memories. JR, WrestleMania was a huge success, but the dust has not settled just yet. The King, that main event was awesome. I think the fans had trouble sleeping last night. Then we should apologize ahead of time. You might have trouble sleeping tonight as well. It's gonna be a slobber knocker. Eric Bischoff, well, NWO cohorts reuniting. Hey Nash, as you probably know, I'm the GM of Raw. And as a GM, I have a certain duty to provide the best quality of the show to the fans. Okay. Well, you're a smart guy, so I don't need to explain this to you. Don't let the pressure get to you, and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Old Eric Bischoff, Raw GM. A lot of people didn't really like WWE at this time, like in the uh, kind of early-ish 2000, 2003, 2004, but I actually really enjoyed it. All right, move. What do we got here? Shop zone, match, attributes, profile, stable. Check out the shop zone. Got a bunch of move sets, rocket tires. Old school Undertaker. Oh, I forgot old school Taker was in here. I might actually try to look for a uh, file that unlocks everything. I forgot old school Taker was in here. Old purple glove Taker move I could talk to Trish Stratus Ooh, let's do it we're gonna talk to Trish Stratus guys let's go do you have a second I want to ask your advice okay Trish I'm having a problem with jazz well it seems like I'm dealing with a delusional psychopath who's apparently obsessed with my sex life what okay then you know, she's spreading rumors about me sleeping my way to the top. This is true. There is many rumors about Trish sleeping her way to the top. Don't know if those were true or not, but 
Oh, it's Y2 Day. Or y Y2 Day. Y2J, Chris Jericho. What are they arguing about? Why are they staring at me? Hit the bricks, Junior. Don't be so cruel, Trish, because I know what you really want. I just came here to have a little chat, said Jericho. Yeah, I believed you too, Trish. I mean, any woman who would crawl around on her knees and bark like a dog for Vince McMahon. Woof, woof, woof. True story, she did do that. Would never sleep her way to the top, would she? This guy's an asshole. As far as those stories Jazz has been telling about you, Trish, I think they're true. What are you saying? Why am I just here just staring at them having this argument? Come on, I see how you look at me. You can cut the sexual tension between us with a knife. I'm always available to give you a healthy dose of vitamin C. Oh, good God almighty. You know, Jericho, all this talk about vitamin C, it actually sounds very nutritional. Especially if it's freshly squeezed. Oh my God, what is going on here? And after watching you on pay-per-view, I've got to tell you, uh, instead of vitamin C, Maybe it should be vitamin L, as in loser, oh, burn. That's a good one, Trish. I mean, that's really funny. Who knew you were such a comedian? That's really good. But you know what's even better than that? What's even funnier? Me looking at your motionless, unconscious, bruised body. Whoa, lying on the center of the ring. Good God, that's a little too much there, Chris. Yeah, I'm still here. Don't pay attention to what she was saying. I'm a huge rock star. As she wants that vitamin C. Okay. All right, Chris. Holy hell. That was that conversation just went south very quickly. Anyways, first match single Kevin Nash versus Chris Jericho. We got Booker T versus The Rock. Third match special guest referee RBD versus Triple H with Eric Bischoff as a special guest referee. That actually sounds like a good episode of Raw. All right. Anyways. Attributes. Can we do anything with that? I have no experience points yet. Next, 95, 25. Okay, so I definitely need to improve on uh, speed. So when I get 25 XP, I can do that. Okay. Submission could also get buffed up. I'm going to work on um, speed, obviously. Speed and technique, because I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of submissions. I would like to get that technique up to a 9 or 9.5. But enough bullshitting around. Let's just jump right into Monday Night Raw. Kevin Nash versus Chris Jericho. If you win this match, you will get 1,000 SD dollars. No interference. Rope break is on. Disqualification is on. KO is off. This is going to be tough because, like I said, I haven't played this game in a hot while. Now, granted, I did play a couple you know, exhibition games, and I got my ass kicked in each one of them, so. Y2J, Chris Jericho. On his way to the ring in this classic Raw arena. Ooh, I remember this entrance, too, he had. I'm gonna try talking over the uh, entrance, so to avoid any possible uh, copyright stuff. I do have the music kind of really low as well, so. Hopefully that will help. Look at these graphics though, man. Not bad. Not bad at all for... How old is this game? This game came out, what, 2002? 2003? I think it came out in 03. I could be wrong though. I know Shut Your Mouth was first, and I really loved SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. I played that game a lot back in the day. Of course, Here Comes the Pain is better, but a lot of people overlook uh, SmackDown Shut Your Mouth. I actually like that season one too, where you can actually draft your own rosters and stuff with uh, Vince and Ric Flair. But here comes Big Daddy Cool, Kevin Nash, Big Daddy. I remember being at the uh, the Royal Rumble in 2014, the one that Batista won, and uh, Kevin Nash was a surprise entrant. Me and my brother freaking marked out. We are huge Kevin Nash fans. So the fact that he was out as a surprise entrant in the Rumble that was pretty damn awesome that was just a great show in general all right how do i do stuff i literally pressed two buttons there and i didn't 
Okay, B is grapple. Y is run. I'm playing on a generic uh, PC controller here, so. Yeah, get up, Nash. Get up, Nash. Oh my god. Grapple him! I still don't know how to strike it. It has to be A. Ah, there we go. Come on, Kevin Ash, come on. I definitely gotta get his speed up because he is slow. Fair to Chris Jericho, this guy's super slow. Oh my god, can't get out of the way. Jericho, calm the fuck down. He's just spamming moves on my ass. What are we doing here? Dropping the big elbow down the back of the neck. All right, it's gonna take me a minute to get used to these controls. Hopefully it won't take me too long here. I don't want to lose my opening match. My body's already yellow. That's not good. Big boot. I mean, the roster for this game is absolutely incredible, man. This this game came out at the right time during the invasion angle. Well, a little after the invasion angle, obviously. But we got WCW guys. Of course, your WWE guys. Young guys like Batista, Cena, Orton. You know, your legends. Triple H, Taker, Shawn Michaels. But you got Goldberg in here. You got Brock Lesnar in here. Also the young guy. I mean, the roster in this game is uh, pretty damn impeccable. Same with uh, Shut Your Mouth, too. SmackDown Shut Your Mouth had a really good roster, too. All right, come on, Nash. Come on, Nash. We got the pace. How do I reverse stuff? It has to be L2 and R2. I'm assuming. Come on, Nash. Come on, Nash. Come on, Big Sexy. Ah. And Chris Jericho ain't no slouch, so. Rope break, bitch. Oh my God, Chris Jericho is just taking it to me right now, bro. He's taking it to me. I cannot stop him. I can't reverse anything. Oh, there we go, I reversed something. Ah. You're so slow with your grapples there, Nash. Bro, his strikes beat my grapples every time. I probably should have played a couple warm-up matches though before I started this, honestly. I mean, I did play like two matches, but that was like uh, a couple days ago. I didn't play any warm-up matches prior to doing this uh, career mode. Boy, sit down. All right, how do I pick him up? How do I pick this jabroni up? I could just stomp him until he gets up. Oh, big boot. Let's see. Oh, there we go. I guess it's B. Toe kick, and here we go. The jackknife power bomb. Oh. All right. Could get rope break on this, but uh, how do I pin? How do I pin? I'm gonna look it up. All right, I looked it up. <clears throat> We're pinning man one, two. I need kicks out. I had to look up how to pin. <clears throat> oh god oh god oh god he's put me in the walls of jericho oh god yeah the snash yeah the snash oh my god oh my god uh smash those buttons smash smash uh, get out of it oh he's gonna pin me now you son of a bitch Two. Kick out, Nash. Kick out. Oh my god. I lost. <laughs> For the cover, one, two, three. Run it back, baby. Can't take a loss. Our first match on season mode. Not happening. I had to run it back. Whooped his ass, too. Triple H beats Rob Van Dam. Rock Beast Booker T. See what's in store for old Big Daddy Cool this week. JR. Well, Limo has just pulled up, folks. I wonder who's inside. King. Must be those centerfold moths coming to pick me up. Yeah, right. All right, who can we talk to? Anyone? We can talk with the GM. Eric Bischoff. What do you want? Request show transfer, request a title shot. 
So you want a title shot, huh? These are the titles you can challenge for. World Tag Title, Intercontinental Title, the Hardcore Title. Hmm. Let's go for the Intercontinental Title. Okay, then I'll schedule a match for tonight. And I'm sure you're going to make it an exciting match, right? You're damn right. If this isn't a great match, then you might not get one of these title shots again. Oof. Why well, superstar points? Your current superstar points is 79. Anything else I gotta be with? I'm good. All right, so we have an intercontinental title match tonight versus who? Oomst Christian. We got Christian versus Kevin Nash for the IC title, Stacey Keeler versus Victoria. In the main event, tag team match, Booker T and Goldust versus Randy Orton and Batista. All right, so we're doing this Christian versus Kevin Nash. No disqualification match for the IC title. We're gonna whoop Christian with the uh, with any weapon I could find. Any weapon. Now I wonder, how do I pick up a weapon? If I remember correctly, the weapons are laying under the ring, I think. I could be wrong, but how about these graphics though, man? I mean, granted, I did enhance it a little bit, but I remember back in the day, the graphics weren't that bad. They were not that bad. Christian, Mr. All Elite Wrestling. He's got two freaking finishers to start. What the hell, man? Why does this dude got two finishers? Christian choking out Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Uh-uh. Get up, get up, get up. That's how you choke someone. Bitch, sit down. Boom. Well, you're not gonna pick a Big Daddy Cool Diesel like that. Pick his ass up again. Choke him. Throw his ass down. All right, how do I get out of the ring? Oh, square, okay. Ooh, we got ourselves a sledgehammer. All right, throw it. Down here. Steel chair. Bring this bitch in the ring. Molly Wop. Boom. Oh shit, you reversed it. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, I brought the chair in and he used it against me. I had a feeling that was gonna happen. Kick out, Diesel. Well, how does this guy get two freaking signatures to start the damn match? My body's still blue though, so I'm good. I think. All right, kicked out, we kicked out. I'm pretty sure I'm about to get yellow here any second though. Nope, you ain't doing that, Christian. You ain't doing that, bruh. Better back up. I just punched the referee. Set him up for the jackknife power bomb. That's not gonna be enough though. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna whoop his ass with this steel chair. And hopefully get my special back up. Boom. Boom. Get your ass out. Boom. 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 Throw the steel chair out. The steel chair is breaking this game? Oh shit. Forget. Oh my god. Forget the chair. No, pick up the son of a bitch. Alright, scrap this there. I think it's the same button to pick up the chair. It's the same button that gets out of the ring. Get in the damn ring, Diesel. There you go. Oh my god, I threw the chair away. Boom. Uh. Boom, busted his ass wide open. He is bleeding like a stuffed pig. Uh. DDT on the chair. Right, let's pick his bitch ass up. Or pick up the chair again. That works too. Oh god, he, he took it from me. Boom! Knee lifts. Huh? There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my god, he, I missed the punch. Get up, Nash. Get up, Nash. This ain't happening. There we go. So another thing I need to figure out how to do, which it should, I don't know, it's the same as like it's always been forever, how to drag someone away from the ropes. I don't know if it's like L1, R1, or L2, R2 together in the analog stick, but. Try to go for the pin, but instead, did that. 
Get over here, boy. And a sidewalk slam. All right, let's pick him up. Let's try again and do another jackknife. All right, no, that didn't work. Big Daddy Cool, you better get your ass up. Title's on the line. Set him up yet again for the jackknife power bomb. I want to use all three of my jackknives on him, but I might just try to pin him right here. Get this match over and done with. What? Damn it, dude. He did not pin him there. I guess he reversed it. He did not sell my move. You know what happens when you don't sell my finishing maneuver, Christian? You should ask whoop with a steel chair. Or, or not. Oh. Christian's hurting. Sit your ass down, boy. Yeah, I figured he'd be groggy, but he wasn't. What the hell's he doing? Sleep with that sleeper? Yeah, but that's just like way too tall to take that fucking reverse DDT or whatever. Oh my god, you better quit reversing me, boy. He's got a finisher again. Oh my god. If I lose this match, dude. If I lose this, I swear to baby Jesus. Two. Alright, enough fucking around. I try to pin him now like three times, but he keeps reversing the pins. Nash, you better get up. You better quit freaking overselling for Christian, goddammit. I need him facing me. There we go. Another jackknife. Uh, it's like it's down in circle, so it should be down in B to pin his ass. But it's also, oh, there we go. Rope break, you lucky son of a bitch. I hate rope break with a passion. Rope break this bitch. Was this the third, fourth jackknife powerbomb? Look at Christian's body, his is weak. He is weak. Dead center of the ring. Let's pin his ass. Get it over with. One, two, three. We have a new IC champion. Big Daddy Cool Diesel. You know what? We're gonna whip his ass. How about that? I was thinking about respecting him, but nah. But nah. We're gonna attack Christian. We're gonna whip his ass. He looks dead. Let's see what happens here. Oh, maybe I should have like taunted. Maybe it would have shown me with the belt. I don't know. Boom. Big Daddy Cool Diesel taking it to Christian. You ain't breaking shit up, Earl Hebner. Don't even try. Damn. Christian's gonna be on the injured list after that one. Oh boy. So we have a new Intercontinental Champion, Big Sexy Kevin Nash, Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Let's see what else happens. Uh, Stacy Beast Victoria. Who cares about that? Booker T and Goldust defeat Randy Orton and Batista of Evolution. Wow, that's a shocker. That is a shocker. What's well, not shocking though? Oh, wait. Oh boy. Mr. McMahon himself. It's Mr. Vincent Kenny McMahon to you, says the king. The man who owns the whole industry, Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. What is he doing here tonight? We're about to find out. How are you all doing tonight? Good, I hope. Actually, you should all be grateful. Grateful you have something to do tonight in this piece of crap town. Anyway, let's cut to the chase. Kevin Nash. Oh shit. Uh, what's gonna happen here? You're a great talent, no doubt. You're not like these other low-life scum in this town. You actually have a future in life. But don't get too cocky that I'm out here praising you. 
Remember, all WWE superstars are my property, and I can make you and break you. Whether you'll be in the WrestleMania main event next year or not, it's all up to me. So don't you forget that. That is all. Okay. Mr. McMahon already flexing his authority for next year's WrestleMania. You better not cross the boss. Damn right, you do not want to cross the boss, Mr. Vincent Kennedy McMahon. So I have 79 superstar points now. Or wait, 81. Let's go. And 2,000 SmackDown dollars. That's what I'm talking about. All right, guys, we are the new Intercontinental Champion. Mr. McMahon had already called me out, made sure I don't cross the boss, so I'm going to make sure I tell the line with Mr. Kennedy, man. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash that like button. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell because we are definitely going to be doing some more SmackDown Here Comes the Pain season mode. We're also going to be doing some random one-off, you know, little episodes of other wrestling games. So definitely stay tuned, guys. I will catch you all in the next one. Much love. Peace.